viewers, here we are again back in the greenhouse. Um, it's a nice day today out there. I've got the greenhouse door open so we can do an air exchange in the greenhouse, get some of this uh, air out and get some fresh air in. Um, well, today I've got to do a bit of uh, repotting. Some of these mazzies are not going to wait until spring. Um, with 170 plants, I really need to make uh, get started. So I thought I'd bring you along today so you can um, watch me do Blandulosa. Blandulosa just finished blooming uh, in a 3 inch pot at the moment. So I'm going to move that on to a 4 inch pot. May well take a division but we can clean it up, take off the dead um, blooms, any old leaves, trim it all down, check all the roots and let's get it potted up in a 4 inch pot. So let me get the tripod set up and we'll have a look at it. Well, here's the Mazda Valia we're going to repot. Um, Glandulosa. It's a species Mazda Valia. A beautiful little plant when it's in flower, but it's hard growing the pot. So I'm going to um, repot it, give it a bigger pot into one of these. That'll be fine, four inch. So we'll have a look at it. We'll take the old media off. We'll have a look at the roots. We'll take off these spent um, blooms. And let's get this one done so it's got a chance of the growing season to put out more roots. I may well divide it depending if there's any natural divisions when I take it out of the pot. But first of all, let's get um, some scissors. These are little trimmages I use. Let's have some isopropanol. Just, as you can see, the squirt scissors. Sterilising the scissors. Let that evaporate and we're ready to go. So first thing we're going to do is take it out of the pot. So let's have a look what we've got in the pot from this um, young mazzy. Well, I think you'll agree, it's got a nice root system on it, so we're getting something right in this greenhouse. But let me just um, clean all this off, um, I don't want to bore you all, I just want you to see uh, how I repot into my media, but if you look, we've got a couple of dead roots, but We've got a lot of um, live roots on it. So I'll just pause you a minute while I clean all this off, then we'll have a look at it again. So what I've got is uh, quite a few roots, decent roots. And I think uh, I'm not after specimen sized plants. So what I'm going to do is take a division We've got plenty of new growth, new roots coming. It's compact. If you grow glandulosa, you'll know that they always flower from under the leaves at the bottom. And well, here they are. We've now got two divisions of glandulosa. It came apart quite easy. It did have a natural division. Beautiful little plant. So let's get these potted up. I've taken off most of the old flower spikes. I've got a dead leaf on this one that I'm going to remove. Um, it's probably a, a leaf infection, some bacteria, but I'm going to take it off. Um, I don't want it on my plant, so hold it down there. And it's gone. So that's going to be the first one we're going to pot together. And that's the second one. I don't know if you can clearly see these roots, but it's got a lot of good active root growth. Um, I'm trying to show you on this camera. I'm not very good with this camera, you know that. But um, two lovely divisions now with glandulosa. So let's get these potted up. All right, firstly, I put Back at the bottom of every one of my pots I put some, um, people call it lecker, 
it's like a, a concrete ball if you want to call it that but it, I use it as drainage I know Mazda Valleys like to keep damp and moist but I don't like them too wet so I always put that in the bottom to um, help with the drainage right, let's get some potted in let's get these two potted up that's one Too low, need a bit more. That's about the right height, just off the top of the pot. Let's fill around the sides first, get some, pack it in. Make sure you've got the plant in the centre of the pot. The Mazda Valley, as you know yourself, will grow where they want anyway. But um, get some around the edges. So what you're trying to do is centralise it in the pot. It gives it a better chance to expand its roots anyway. Right, now we're going to push it down. Now we've got it centre. We're going to give it a bit of compaction. Not too much. We don't want to break all the roots. But we do want to make it firm in the pot. So that um, it to get established a lot quicker. And get a bit more in now. There we go. A bit more this side. There we go. A bit more on that side. And there we have it. One Mazda Valia Glandulosa repotted. There's the label. There's the date, I'm sure you can see that, we potted it, put the label in, let's get the other one done. Again, got my liquor in the bottom, put my mix in, a light area mix, get my plant, lovely plant that, really is a nice division. Get that in the pot, same again. Fill around the sides first, so you get all the leaves uh, covered. A bit more this side. One more side. When you're happy with it in the centre of the pot, then you can start pressing down. Same as the last one. Not a lot of pressure. We're just trying to secure the media in. So the roots make contact. Give it a little tap. Now let's just finish off bringing up the uh, media in the pot. Beautiful uh, Mazda Valley as um, Langelosa is. I know I showed you on a, a spotlight not long ago. But if you are into Mazda Valley is, um, give them a go. There's nothing to be frightened of. Um, they are reasonably easy to grow, I find anyway. Um, not all of them, <laughs> not all of them, I've had a problem with a couple of them, and I've had a lot of problems with um, the ones I've purchased, um, I've just got to get a label for that, and that's the second one done, so there they are together, two divisions of glandulosa, what I was saying is I'm not always easy, I bought... Um, some Mazda Valia divisions off um, so-called suppliers uh, and they've been terrible. The roots have been absolutely terrible. I would never ever dream of selling some of the Mazda Valias. Um, if they was mine, I'd be really shocked and gutted. But unfortunately, there's a market out there at the moment for people to buy uh, orchids. With all the YouTube channels, everybody's watching them, everybody's getting impressed and looking at um, orchids and growing orchids. But unfortunately, so have the uh, sellers. They've seen an opportunity there. And they just put out anything that they want to sell. You'll struggle sometimes to get a decent um, orchid. But I've always said, use people locally, either from your own orchid society or people in your area who you know are growing Mazda Valleys, and buy off them. Rather than go down the internet route, having them shipped in the post. And there'll always be a disclaimer that you know the postage was late it was posted then it went cold or it was damaged in transit 
when you fetch it in your own car, you've got no problem. You put it on the back seat in a box and bring it home. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you to tears. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, once again, thanks for all the new subscribers to the channel. Uh, the next video I'm going to do is an update. I'll do a green ass tour probably at the weekend. Um, and until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.